guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the new 2021 BMW 330i, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. Wanted to hop in this one today because this car is a legend. Did you guys know original production actually began on the 3 Series back in 19? 75 so at this point bmw has had plenty of time to perfect it not only that three or thirty six thousand miles of complimentary maintenance as well so for the first three years you don't have to pay for the oil changes and tire rotations that's pretty darn cool as well and when it comes to the bumper to bumper warranty you know most manufacturers give you three year thirty six thousand miles bmw actually gives you four year fifty thousand miles on the bumper to bumper warranty which is amazing so Having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the 2021 BMW 330i will start at $41,250. That is for the rear wheel drive configuration. If you wanted to go with the all wheel drive or what BMW calls X drive, simply add $2,000, bringing the total up to $43,250. But regardless of which configuration that you go with, the power plant on this one is going to be the same. Powering the 330i is going to be a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 294 pound-feet of torque available from the power band of 1500 to 4400 rpm again power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will of course be testing out in a little bit and by the way that comes with launch control as well that is pretty darn cool zero to 60 time for the rear wheel drive comes in at approximately 5.6 seconds according to BMW for the all-wheel drive 5.3 if you were doing comparison shopping with the audi a4 in this one the audi comes in at 5.4 seconds so 5.3 with the all-wheel drive it's got the audi beat there mpg numbers come in at 26 in the city 36 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 25 city 34 on the highway for the all-wheel drive let's hope then before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test in the 330 did want to mention there are some drive modes that are located just behind the shifter they will include sport comfort and Eco Pro. And essentially what those driving modes are going to do is adjust things like the shift points, the throttle response, and the steering sensitivity as well. And so did just put it in that sport driving mode and not to mention the gauge cluster. So if you go with the digital gauge cluster, it's also going to adjust the colors up on that digital gauge cluster as well. So now that I have it in sport mode, it is projecting the gauges in many more red hues as opposed to the typical, what, orange hues that you get in comfort mode, I suppose. So anyways, have Having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway and let's first test out the paddle shifters in the 330i and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, coming up on our straightaway, what I am going to now do is slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is going to give me full control over the shifting. The car will not shift for me. And what do you guys say? We are in first gear and from a standstill, off we go. Whoa. Oh man, gosh darn it, <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it, man. Paddle shifters are instantaneous and no, they do not shift for me. I got I got up there in the RPMs and it didn't shift for me. So I love that there is a manual mode. Having said that, to give back full control to the BMW, just slide the shifter back to the right. But dang, that acceleration was wonderful as well. And I didn't even put it in launch control and that pinned me to the back of the seat. So plenty of an acceleration for merging onto the highway, even plenty of an acceleration to have some fun on the back roads on the weekend. That was amazing. And not to mention, it is below 30 degrees out here in Pennsylvania today with this X-Drive all-wheel drive system. There there was no slipping whatsoever and we got plenty of snow on the ground right now as well so the fact that this thing stuck to the ground that well on that acceleration is absolutely wonderful and in a car that you might want to think about especially if you live here in pennsylvania like myself but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so as expected you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes for all trim levels across the board not to mention there are some m sport brakes that come with the m sport package that we have today 
today as well. So that is going to increase stopping power a little bit as well. And by the way, when it comes to that 60 to zero stopping distance, it comes in at 114 feet for the 330i, which is plenty respectable. We'll say the Audi A4 puts it at 105 feet, but having said that, the braking feel has been perfectly fine for me today. So absolutely no issues with bringing the 330 to a stop there. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a double pivot type front suspension with an anti-roll bar. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension with cast aluminum upper transverse arms. Of course, twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers as well. And I do wanna also mention an optional package for the 330i being the dynamic handling package that goes for $2,450 and that is an option I personally would get on this one. Reason being is because that essentially is an adaptive damping suspension. And what that's suspension does is it monitors each shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering again giving you the best of both worlds and that is definitely a noticeable difference in all the vehicles that I've reviewed comparing the non-adaptive damping suspension to an adaptive damping suspension in light cars you can always instantly tell the difference between those two suspension setups so that is something I would definitely recommend as far as package options go for the 330i I wanted to say that but having said that that ride quality is perfectly fine even without it which we don't have it today of course but ride quality has been perfectly fine really above average and really as expected for a car like the BMW 330i so no issues there however it can get better with that dynamic handling package I'm just saying steering feel is definitely weighty it's on the heavier side it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go gives you a better feeling of being in control because of the weight that it has so I absolutely love that not to mention the M Sport package that we have here has some mammoth 10 and 2 grips which I absolutely love and I feel like I always say this in my BMW reviews but the 10 and 2 grips as far as the steering wheels go with BMW they're always on point they have some of the thickest grips which is absolutely amazing it gives you such a better feeling of being in control of this thing so I absolutely love it, it might be just my personal preference but you guys got to check it out it is like no other car that I reviewed they are some of the thickest grips out there I absolutely love it then when it comes to cabin noise that again is perfectly fine as expected with BMW I've hit over 50 miles per hour and typically that's the speed I look for when the wind starts creeping into the cabin but not with the 330i so cabin noise is definitely on point there as well touching on visibility I can see perfectly fine out the back and typically with a sedan like this you're not gonna have any issues of visibility anyway so you're definitely good there not to mention rain sensing wind windshield wipers actually come standard on the 330i as well meaning whenever this car detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you so it's just one less thing you got to worry about kind of like automatic headlights i guess but also, head-up display is going to be available. It's with a couple different package options, including the premium package and executive package that is going to project your speed, speed limit, and safety information up on your windshield. I am actually currently looking at that right now, so that is pretty darn cool. It helps you better keep your eyes on the road so you can more enjoy the drive in the 330i. So definitely a safety feature in itself and, of course, assist with visibility as well. But that about rounds up the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new completely blacked out 2021 bmw 330i all right so here she is you guys the new 2021 bmw 330i finished in black sapphire metallic looks so good especially with this m sport package and of course i'll get into that for you guys as well but let's go ahead and start first up front on the 330i led headlights with the cornering function does come standard meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights will swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminate what is around that bend and of course the headlights do come with the automatic feature as well meaning when it starts to get dark out at night they will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also so coming standard you guys can actually see those are on right now they look pretty good automatic high beams as well coming standard meaning when you got your high beams on at night if the car senses another vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically turn off those high beams for you and then return them back on once that vehicle has left so it's yet again another thing you don't have to worry about it's pretty darn cool BMW laser light technology it's something I wanted to mention that is available it is an option for the 330i and that essentially is the very brightest lighting allowed by law if you definitely want to have the very best visibility at night 
In the center of it all, active kidney front grille, meaning those grille shutters will open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. Nice technology there. Front air curtains down in the lower corners there. Satin aluminum trim surrounding that front grille. And of course that can change dependent upon some of the packages that you go with. And let me now touch on the M Sport package because that is actually going to give you a revised front fascia. And by the way, that package goes for $3,800. But in addition to that, you're gonna get some additional gloss black exterior trim, that M Sport steering wheel, of course, I was mentioning to you guys, and 19 inch M specific double five spoke alloy wheels as well. So quite a bit of aesthetic appearance upgrades with that M Sport package. So definitely looks very good with this black exterior we have today, I will say that. But now, Let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the 330i. And so now since we are around the side of this one, satin aluminum window surrounds coming standard, gloss black window surrounds coming with the M Sport, that of course is what we have today. Power adjustable body colored side mirrors do come standard and they actually do also come with LED integrated turret signals. They will also be heated as well for super cold days in Pennsylvania quite like today. And looking down at the wheel configuration, 18 inch double five spoke alloys, is the standard setup and they will be wrapped in all season tires. And of course, there are plenty of different wheel designs available. One of them being these M Sport wheels you guys are currently looking at right now, finished in black, which looks absolutely amazing with this black sapphire metallic exterior that we have here today. But anyways, Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of this one. And so since we are around back, shark fin antenna coming standard up top there, just below that LED adaptive brake lights, also coming standard X-Drive badging, of course, found on the upper left-hand corner back there as well if your car is equipped with all-wheel drive at least. And once again, with that M Sport package, that is going to alter the rear bumper design as well, as opposed to if you did not have it. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. But now since we are around back of the 330i, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob. That is one way to go ahead and open it. There is also a button on the trunk itself, of course, as expected. And there is a button on the driver's side door as well. And it gets better than that. Power operated trunk is going to be optional as well as a hands-free trunk. Again, yet another option that is going to be available for the 330i. But nonetheless, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at an even 13 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down quite flat at that, meaning there is going to be a good bit of extra space then if you needed it. Then make our way to the rear legroom. That comes in at 35.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in those rear seats. Still want to also mention rear ventilation is going to come standard, but not only that, three zone climate control actually comes standard as well, meaning the rear passengers can set their own temperature as well as the driver and the passenger. So therefore everyone stays comfortable at any given time. That is pretty darn cool as well. Rear center armors with cup holders, of course, also coming standard. Did want to also to mention there are heated rear seats that are going to be optional they are available for the 330i if you wanted to spoil the rear passengers a little bit back there and in addition to that there are actually two phone charging ports for those rear passengers in the back as well but then making our way to the front seat sensatec upholstery is going to be the standard finish on the seating however there is full leather seating that is going to be optional we do of course have it today but that is an option for the 330i 10-way power adjustable front seats will come standard for both driver and passenger. You don't always see it on the passenger side, so I wanted to emphasize that. Two-way power side bolsters, which is a brilliant thing here in the 330i. It's something BMW always does, and I love it because it kind of hugs you in place, especially if you're one that likes taking turns a little faster on the back roads. Those side bolster adjustments are going to be where it's at for you. 
Anyways, manual thigh support, also standard memory settings do also come standard. They can be found on the driver's side door for up to two different drivers. Lumbar support is actually going to be optional. We do actually have it though today. Heated and ventilated seating also going to be optional on the 330i. One of those things I think at least heated seats should come standard on this one, but Anyways, it's optional nonetheless, but overall, because of all of those adjustments on the 330, the seats are more than comfortable. It's really quite impossible to not find your perfect driving position with the 330i just because there are so many different ways you can adjust these front seats. So, wanted to mention that, but now let's take a look at this steering wheel because it's one of the best parts of this one. Tilt and telescoping as expected. It is manually tilt and telescoping. That is the standard setup, but you can get it power adjustable if you wanted that. Leather wrap steering wheel does come standard. The 10 and 2 grips are beautiful, and you can get a heated steering wheel that is optional. That button is going to be located just above the M logo, I guess, in our case, because we have the M Sport package. So that's going to be there for you as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. Essentially, all of your buttons are located on one side of the key. You do have your M colors on the side of it. If you go with that M Sport package, at least, that looks pretty cool. But lock, unlock, the button to pop the rear hatch. The lock button is the BMW logo front and center. But essentially, it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button, which is actually located just to the left of the shifter. And so, but then once started up, the gauges are going to differ slightly. For instance, there is the standard analog gauge cluster, which comes standard. I don't know how else to say it, but then there is the optional 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, which is what you guys are looking at right now. And it looks absolutely wonderful. It not only adjusts colors based on your driving mode, which is pretty darn cool. If you want a blue hue, go with Eco Pro. There's orange for comfort and then there's red for sport. So I found that pretty cool. But of course you also have your navigation information front and center. That is pretty cool as well. It gives you your outside temperature, the speed limit of any any given road also how many miles you have left until you hit empty really pretty much everything you possibly want up on that digital gauge cluster so i definitely like it but making our way now to overall interior quality first thing i want to mention with this one is there are several different interior and trim options available where you can really customize the 330 and make it your own which you don't always see in other manufacturers so i wanted to emphasize that of course you got black leather which is what we have today but you also have black leather with blue stitching if you go with that m sport package and you do have some of the m sport colors within the seating as well i thought that was pretty cool there's also a light leather there's a saddle brown leather there's wood trim there's aluminum trim the options really go on and on you guys can play around on bmw's website if you wanted to but plenty of options there anthracite headliner does come standard universal garage door openers can be found on the bottom portion of that rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors also standard power moonroof also standard auto dimming rear view mirror and driver's side mirror you don't always see that also standard on this one like i said three zone climate control some of the options especially this first one i would recommend ambient lighting it's part of some of the package deals but is also available on its own for 250 bucks that is pretty darn cool you can adjust the colors that is something i would definitely go with on this one wireless phone charger in front of the cup holders that's another option for 500 dollars it also comes with some of the package options Overall, the interior quality is pretty much finished as you would expect a BMW to be finished. So very high-end materials. You have a 12-volt power outlet, USB charging ports right in the center of the cup holders. Just around the circular dial and buttons and the shifter and all that, you have a nice texturized finish. A lot of times manufacturers will leave that as a matte gray plastic, which is super boring and low-end, but I love the look of this finish around the shifter here. Also within the center armrest, you will have another phone charging port. There's actually a little light in there as well and a decent amount of storage within that as well. But overall, it really comes down to the fit and finish, which is something BMW always gets right. Perhaps the only other thing I would have kind of liked to have seen in this one is the anthracite headliner swapped out for a suede headliner. I think that would be pretty cool. But other than that, you got blue stitching on the doors. Everything is finished very, very nicely. So I'll give BMW that for sure. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the tech display. 8.8 .8 inch colored touchscreen display does come standard. And by the way, 
it's not just a touchscreen display. You can control it using that, but there's also a circular dial and buttons. There's also voice control and gesture control is going to be optional. And that's essentially where you can use your hand in like a clockwise like motion to turn up the radio or a counterclockwise to turn it down. There's a bunch of different gestures that you can do, which is really kind of crazy technology. And I've played around with it in other BMWs. I think that's pretty fun. Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay coming standard as well. That's something BMW didn't always do. So I wanted to emphasize that. Factory navigation system also coming standard. You can adjust your ambient lighting settings up there as well. There's also some vehicle statistics you can check out. And of course, your radio settings. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there's two different sound systems. There is the 10 speaker hi-fi sound system that comes standard with 205 watts. Then there is the optional 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that actually only goes for $875. Sometimes with optional sound systems, they're a bit more than that. So that's why I say only, but that's not too bad. 464 watts, two bass speakers under the front seats. Having said that, we don't have that one today. We do have the 10 speaker sound system. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. It's not bad. It's pretty much as expected for a 10 speaker sound system. Me personally, I would probably opt for the uh, Harman Kardon sound system with this particular setup with the 330i just because that sound system didn't really blow me away, especially for 10 speakers. I would expect a little bit more bass, but it's not bad. It's as expected, I guess you could say. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the 330i in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard on this one. 360 degree monitor is going to be optional. That of course is going to assist you with visibility, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the 2021 BMW 330i is an IIHS top safety pick. So that is a heck of a start already. Front side, side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. That's all pretty boring safety stuff at this point, but, in addition to that, also standard on the 330i frontal collision warning and automatic city collision mitigation and braking. So having said that, there are a couple different package options that can add some safety features to the 330i. One of them is a driver assistance package that goes for $700. That includes an active driving assistant, blind spot monitoring system, lane departure warning, and front and rear parking sensors as well. Then there is the parking assistance package that again goes for $700. Now, once again, we'll give you front and rear parking sensors, a 360 degree monitor and parking assistant, which essentially is where the car parks itself for you. So that is pretty cool. You just gotta set the parking spot and it's gonna do all the work for you. So that's kind of crazy. But all in all, when it comes to my final thoughts of the 330i, really what separates this vehicle from the other competitors in its class, this thing is a blast to drive. The handling is absolutely wonderful. The acceleration is great for what it is. Of course, there's more powerful engines for the 3 Series, but I'm just doing the 330i video here today. But anyways, heck of an acceleration, instant paddle shifters, great 10 and two grips as well. And like I said, this car has been around since 1975. So at this point, BMW has really perfected it. So definitely a solid pick here. The only constructive criticism I can possibly think of for this thing is it is a bit pricier than some of the other competitors in the segment. And not only that, maybe some of the safety features that I rambled off as a package option should come standard, like at minimum, a blind spot monitoring system. I think that's pretty standard at this point on other manufacturers, but Anyways, very, very solid pick. This car has been around for forever, so you really can't go wrong with the 3 Series. But that about rounds out this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.